Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. At 25 trillion miles from Earth on the orbit of Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun, lies the most recent and astounding finding of potentially habitable planets. For the scientists working at the European Southern Observatory, this is a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Using a specialized reflector telescope housed in a massive observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert, they were able to locate this distant world. The planet lies within the habitable zone, which is the region surrounding a star where the surface of the planet can retain liquid water. Because of the delicate balance of temperatures required, this area is known as the Goldilocks zone by experts. Like Venus, other planets can experience a runaway greenhouse gas effect if their orbits are too close to their stars. On the other hand, surface water will freeze if it's too far away, just like Mars. Similar to Earth, its surface is rocky. Assuming it contains water as well, the next crucial question is, does it harbor life? Even though over 3,000 additional planets outside of our solar system have been found in recent years, the vast majority of them are located hundreds of light years away, making them extremely difficult to study. The planet remains invisible to even the most advanced telescopes used by scientists. Their ability to detect even the tiniest shifts in light levels is remarkable. One planet, Proxima Centauri b, orbits the nearest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri, as you pointed out. At a distance of 7 trillion miles deep in space, the James Webb Telescope has detected lights on Proxima Centauri b that resemble city lights uncanny. This finding defies all expectations. Is the cosmos fooling us once again? Or might this be the evidence of extraterrestrial life that we've been seeking? We may need to rethink our entire understanding of the universe in light of what the telescope discovered. Does someone else exist to keep an eye on us, or are we really alone? Beyond our planet lies a crucial part of humanity's destiny. The age-old debate of whether or not our solar system is unique has one more step to be answered. Could there be a society on a nearby planet that is similar to Earth? I find the idea that we're alone to be somewhat absurd. Despite the obstacles, let us seek out a good objective if we yearn for a cosmic purpose. Far away hints of extraterrestrial life. Think about it, all you see when you look up at the night sky is a little faint glow. However, what if the source of that light wasn't celestial? Imagine if it came from an alien culture, illuminating their universe. We now dispute that, thanks to one of the most intriguing discoveries revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope. Lights that look like city lights were picked up by JWST. Where exactly? About four light years distant, there is a rocky exoplanet called Proxima Centauri b. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star notorious for its volatility. And this planet isn't just some cosmic rock floating in orbit around it. Extreme solar flares have the potential to deplete planets' atmospheres. However, experts believe that Proxima Centauri b is located in the habitable zone, where liquid water might be supported. Also, it's tidally locked, so there's always going to be light on one side and darkness on the other. This further adds to the allure and mystery of the concept of city-like lights on the planet's dark side. JWST's advanced infrared imaging detected faint lights on Proxima Centauri b's dark side, with a unique thermal signature unseen on any other rocky planet. Some researchers speculate they could be artificial, possibly signaling advanced extraterrestrial technology. However, scientists remain cautious. Natural explanations like reflective minerals or unusual atmospheric conditions are still on the table. Leading the discussion is Dr. David Kipping of Columbia University, who calls this discovery groundbreaking. He highlights how juice precision reveals Proxima Centauri b's complexity and raises a bigger question. If these lights are artificial, who or what created them? Extraterrestrial life, a fascinating prospect. The most interesting part is about to happen now. Whispers of additional anomalous data have begun spreading in the scientific world albeit the team working on this discovery has been careful in their investigation. Some unaffiliated researchers have supposedly found evidence of light flickering that resembles a pattern seen in the electrical system. Though not confirmed just yet, this has stoked speculation about what may be going on on Proxima Centauri b. 
Would this be the first concrete proof of alien life, or are we merely seeing the universe's capacity to amaze us? The normally level-headed engineers at NASA are apparently going crazy about this. Some knowledgeable individuals have speculated that JWST has detected further anomalies in the atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b, such as variations that could indicate the presence of industrial processes. All of this is still being considered, but just the concept has generated both enthusiasm and criticism. We must not lose sight of the broader context in which this exists. There are other exoplanets receiving attention, but for the time being Proxima Centauri b stands head and shoulders above the crowd. On a cosmic scale, its proximity of about 25 trillion miles or 4 light years is enticing. Because of how close they are, future telescopes, such as the extremely large telescope which is scheduled to start operating in 2028, will be able to gather even more precise data. What else might be lurking in the shadows of Proxima Centauri b, if JWST has discovered something so intriguing? What does it reveal about the entities responsible for their creation if these lights are in fact artificial? Are they significantly more evolved than we are? Or are they similar to us in that they are attempting to establish contact with aliens by sending telescopes into space? Is our team prepared to deal with the unexpected? Delving inside the exoplanet B, now let's focus on the planet specifically. This might be what Earth might look like if it had a severe cosmic twin. This rocky planet, which orbits the faint red dwarf Proxima Centauri, is in the ideal temperature range for life, according to experts. But hold on a second. Not your typical warm and fuzzy neighborhood star, Proxima Centauri. Massive solar flares from this blazing dwarf have the potential to rapidly deplete planets of their atmospheres, making it famous for space weather. Despite this, Proxima Centauri b continues to exist, and its peculiar orbit leads astronomers to speculate that it may still be able to sustain liquid water. In comparison to Earth's 93 million miles from the Sun, its orbit is remarkably close at less than 5 million miles. It takes just 11 Earth days for Proxima Centauri b to complete one full orbit. Imagine having a birthday party every two weeks to give you an idea of the scale. Tidal locking is an intriguing feature of Proxima Centauri b. Under the warm light of Proxima Centauri, one half of the planet experiences perpetual daylight, the other side is plunged into perpetual night, shrouded in a cold shadow. If life does in fact exist, it may thrive in the delicate transition zone between these two poles. However, things start to become strange from here on out. Which lights were detected by the James Webb Space Telescope? They are on the other side of the night, where there ought to be constant night. Is it possible that a hidden society is using life-sustaining techniques to stay alive? On the other hand, has anyone thought of a natural answer that we haven't? Researchers have speculated that the atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b, if it exists at all, may contain secrets that could change the way we think about habitability, which adds another layer of intrigue to the situation. Preliminary findings point to temperature fluctuations so severe that they would make the worst weather on Earth appear like a peaceful summer day. If there were no atmosphere to control the temperature, the day side could get very hot and the night side could get very cold. The catch is that some of the thermal patterns picked up by JWST point to a stabilizing factor for these extremes. Then there's the debate about whether or not Proxima Centauri b could be a habitable planet. Some think the planet is uninhabitable due to the star's continual radiation bombardment. Others have hypothesized that Proxima Centauri b's unusual orbit could be the source of its radiation-shielding magnetic field. Preliminary research has supposedly uncovered weak signals that may point to magnetic activity. However, the verdict is not yet in. It would transform the game if verified, allowing for the prospect of a stable ecosystem on this mysterious globe. Also, we must not overlook the murmurs of something more enigmatic. The scientific world is scratching its head over the fact that a number of astronomers have detected anomalies in the planet's thermal emissions. These emissions don't fit the profile of a planet that is typically thought of as dry and stony. They more closely reflect the patterns of heat that one could observe in regions that are heavily involved in energy production. 
Despite the lack of confirmation, the James Webb Space Telescope steps forward as the protagonist in this cosmic drama. Certainly not your average telescope, what with its decade avant technology and price tag of almost $10 billion. There is no better watchdog in the skies than this one. Positioned at a gravitational sweet spot known as Lagrange Point 2, approximately 1 million kilometers from Earth, JWST is intended to gaze into the depths of the cosmos. But its real strength is in its sensitivity to very tiny infrared signals, such as the specks on Proxima Centauri b. Just over 21 feet in width, JWST's enormous mirror is coated in gold and used to gather light. Subtracting its fundamental elements, this light is subjected to a battery of filters and meters. Reading the stars or planet's DNA layer by layer is analogous. As JWST directed its detectors towards Proxima Centauri b, it detected something much more fascinating than light. The planet's nightside lights, you know? Due to their distinct infrared fingerprints, JWST was able to identify them. There is a unique thermal fingerprint that every material gives off, and infrared light is just heat. We have never seen lights like those on Proxima Centauri b, which is the most peculiar thing about this situation. They don't compare to the radiance of ice or the phosphorescence of lava flows. Contrarily, they display patterns that according to some researchers, may be compatible with man-made light sources. Just so we're clear, this is merely a theory and not proof. According to Dr. Heidi Hamill, who is the principal scientist for the JWST projects at NASA, the finding is one of the most perplexing data sets we've encountered. She said that while they have eliminated some natural causes, they are still looking into other options. Might it be something happening in the sky? Maybe it's a peculiar mineral deposit that reflects light in strange ways. Actually, nobody has a definitive answer. As a result of this ambiguity, scientists are equally enthusiastic and skeptical. At the same time, speculation has been circulating regarding more discoveries made by JWST regarding Proxima Centauri b. The telescope may have detected subtle chemical signals in the planet's atmosphere, suggesting the presence of industrial activity, according to reports. Among the molecules that have been found are substances like chlorofluorocarbons, which are often linked to human activity on our planet. If confirmed, this finding would be of the utmost significance. However, astronomers continue to question the veracity of the data, so for now it is only a fascinating possibility. That is not the end of the drama. A rift is developing behind the scenes between NASA and private researchers that are interested in using JWST's raw data. Theorists speculate that the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, is hiding something from the public. There may be nothing to back up these claims, but they do show how interested the public is in what the telescope finds. Indeed, the most momentous event in human history would have occurred if JWST had discovered signs of extraterrestrial life. Fresh approaches to the quest for life, you would have been mistaken if you believed the tale of Proxima Centauri b could not grow more dramatic. New findings are propelling the hunt for extraterrestrial life into a daring new era testing our assumptions to the limit. Why is this age of space exploration so revolutionary? Let's find out. Exoplanets with Earth-like compositions, such as rocky worlds orbiting Sun-like stars, have long been the primary target of astronomical exploration. They reason that these worlds would be the most likely to harbor life. That view, however, has been altered by new information. Even though red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are smaller and cooler than the Sun, they are currently excellent targets for planet searches. Roughly 70% of all stars are red dwarfs, making them the most prevalent type in the cosmos. Planets in their orbit have a higher probability of existence, according to the statistics. In addition, red dwarfs have a life expectancy of billions if not trillions of years, which is more than enough time for evolution. However, there is a catch. Intense flares, which these stars are known to produce, can wipe out an entire planet's atmosphere and put an end to life as we know it. We return to Proxima Centauri b as a result of this. Scientists are incredibly excited about the planet's unique qualities, even if it has a hostile environment caused by its parent star. Something, maybe an atmosphere, is regulating the dramatic temperature difference between the day and night sides of the planet, 
according to the thermal patterns picked up by JWST. Things are about to get interesting from here on out. The atmosphere could not be entirely natural, according to some specialists. The stabilization may have been aided by artificial structures or processes, according to some data points. This has not been confirmed, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether the anomalies are the result of technological advancements or random geological features is an ongoing debate among scientists. However, the scientific community is abuzz with activity over the mere potential. The data has sparked a global arms race, with teams rushing to examine it and some even suggesting new missions to probe Proxima Centauri B further. Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative supported by the late Stephen Hawking and Russian billionaire Yuri Milner, is one such source. Is this the strategy? To launch small laser-powered spacecraft toward Proxima Centauri at a speed one-fifth that of light. In little over 20 years, if all goes according to plan, these probes will have traveled to the star and captured the first ever detailed pictures of an exoplanet. Though it may sound fantastical, the group behind the proposal is certain it can be implemented. If their predictions pan out, long-standing mysteries may soon have their solutions. Problems and possible solutions? There are many challenges on the path to discovering the universe's mysteries. From technical constraints to political and ethical concerns, scientists confront a frightening array of obstacles despite tremendous technological advancements. While the James Webb Space Telescope has shown us what is achievable, it has also shown us how much work is still to be done. First, we'll go over the nuts and bolts. The infrared capabilities of JWST are unparalleled, yet they aren't flawless. The design and orbit of the telescope restrict its ability to detect a large number of exoplanets. The problem of financing also arises. The cost of space exploration is high. Not all governments are prepared to spend over $10 billion on space probes like JWST, which is why not all governments are interested in finding alien life. The result is a greater dependence on private monies from Yuri Milner, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos, among others. Their work has sped up development, but it has also made some wonder if space should be privatized. Who gets to choose the rules for space exploration? Furthermore, what would be the consequences of finding something truly remarkable, such as intelligent life? Who will own it? All of humanity or the organizations that paid for the discovery? Concerns about ethics are also significant. In the event that we discover signs of life on an alien planet, what shall we do? To show alien civilizations the utmost respect for their independence, some experts say we should keep our distance and study from afar. For some, reaching out to other planets and exchanging information and resources is an ethical imperative. However, what if interaction results in friction? What happens when two civilizations collide is rarely peaceful, since history is replete with examples of this. The prospects for space travel are better now than they have ever been before, notwithstanding these obstacles. Among the upcoming missions is the Aerial Telescope, developed by the European Space Agency. It is scheduled to launch in the early 2030s with the aim of studying the atmospheres of 1,000 exoplanets. At the same time, Earth-like planets orbiting neighboring stars may be directly imaged by NASA's projected Habitable Worlds Observatory, an achievement that was unimaginable even a generation ago. Looking ahead, one thing is quite clear. The hunt for life is about more than simply aliens. Realizing our role in the cosmos and expanding our horizons are major themes. Is Proxima Centauri b simply another cosmic enigma, or could we soon learn about extraterrestrial life? There are countless mysteries in the cosmos, and our exploration is only beginning. If you love unraveling the mysteries of the universe as much as we do, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Spaceverse, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next deep dive into the great unknown.